Good morning students, myself Lokesh, working as assistant professor in Vidya Nara Institute of Technology and Science. Welcome to the next lecture on ground improvement techniques. We are presently in second unit, that is dewatering techniques. So up to our last class, we have completed two dewatering methods. The first one is sums and ditches. Sums and ditch. So what is this method? In this method, we carry out the excavation up to a depth where the water table is available. So, at one or more corners of a side, we are going to construct these sums and ditches. Okay, due to the act, under the action of gravity, the water flows into these sums. Okay, by using pumps and motors, we are removing the water from the sums and ditches. This is the first method. But what is the disadvantage of this method? By using this method, we can draw down the water table up to a depth of 4 meters to 5 meters only. We cannot reduce the water table more than 5 meters depth. Okay. And then the second method that we completed is single stage well point system. Single stage. In the name itself it indicates we are going to lay the well points only in one stage. Okay. In this method, first we are laying a header pipe on the surface. Okay. Like this, just like this. We are laying a header pipe on the surface. From the header pipe, we are inserting all these riser pipes or well points. Okay. By using a motor, we are removing the water, we are collecting the water from riser pipes into the header pipe, from header pipe to the discharge. Okay. That is single stage well point system. But the main disadvantage of this system is, by using this method also, we cannot reduce the water table more than 6 meters. Okay. The maximum depth up to which we can draw down the water table is 6 meters depth. But in some cases, we need to reduce the water table more than 6 meters. Okay, in such cases, we use this multi-stage well point system and deep well point system. Okay, these two methods we have already completed in our last class. So, now today's concept is multi-stage well point system. In the name itself, it indicates multi-stage. The previous one is single stage. That means, we are laying these well points only in one stage. But here, we are laying this header pipe and riser pipes in number of stages. Okay. See, the first stage is, first we lay this header pipe on the surface. Okay. From the header pipe, we are inserting the number of, see, the number of riser pipes and well points. Okay. By using the motor, we are removing all the water from the side. Up to what depth? Up to this depth only. Up to this depth, we are removing the water. So, once the water table is reduced to this depth, what we are doing? We are excavating all this soil okay, up to the water table. Again, here we are laying another header pipe. Again, from header pipe to so many number of riser pipes and well points. Okay. Again, with separate motor. Okay, we are, the first motor is for first stage. For the second stage, we need another motor. Okay. By using another motor, what we are doing? We are collecting the water from the second stage header pipe. If, and again, and then we are laying this foundation. If this drawdown is also not sufficient, then go for the third stage. Like this, in number of stages, we are removing the water. That's why it is known as a multi-stage well point system. Okay. See, this is the first stage. Header pipe from header point, pipe to number of riser pipes. This is the initial water table. Initially, the water table is up to this depth. Then what happened? The water table is reduced to, see this point, the first curve, the first drawdown curve. Here also, the first drawdown curve, the water table is in this point. When, when the first stage of dewater is completed, the water table is reduced to this much of depth. Okay. Again, in the second stage, we are laying a header pipe from header pipe to number of riser pipes. Again, by using another separate motor, we are removing the water. So, due to that, the second drawdown will appear. See, this is the second drawdown. So, after second stage of dewatering, the water table is reduced to here. Okay. This is also not sufficient for us. So, what we have done? Again, a third layer of third stage of header pipe is laid. From the header pipe, we are laying the riser pipes and well points. Okay, with the third motor, 
we are removing the all the water from the third stage header pipe so due to this the third drawdown will form okay so finally the water table is here at the end of third stage of dewatering okay so practically this is the final table these are the curves drawdown curves so first drawdown curve indicates the reduction in water table due to first stage second curve indicates drawdown after second stage like that if three is also not sufficient for us we can go for the fourth stage of well point okay so simply this is a well point system okay at the end after the end of a third stage we are laying here the foundation wall okay so this is multi stage well point system so let's see point by point come to the first point a normal well point system that means a single stage well point system single stage well point system or simply well point system both are similar okay in single stage well point system is suitable for depth up to a maximum of 6 meters if the pump is installed at the ground level okay in all these methods we are installing the pump that is mortar at the ground surface only okay so up to 6 meters only it is possible and the soil have to be coarser why if the size of the soil particle is more then it has more permeability so the water can easily come to our come to our well point from the surrounding area okay so that's why the soil has to be coarser but if the sand is for example it is not completely made up of sand it is a silty or clay soil but it must contain more than 20 percentage of sand particles okay it is made up of, the soil is silt or clay but it contains more than 20 percentage of sand particles so with the presence of 20 percentage of sand particles it can impart a minimum permeability to travel the water okay so that's why whether it, whether it has to be coarser the coarser soil is nothing but a sand so the soil have to be sand or if any other type of soil it must contain 20 percentage of the coarser particle that is sand okay so one of these two these two conditions must satisfy coming to the next one for the excavation more than 6 meters if we need to reduce the water table more than 6 meters what we need we need multi stage dewatering equipment okay so from here we are starting this multi stage well point system okay so coming to the next one in this case what is what we are doing each stage has its own pump why because we are using here the vacuum power okay by using the vacuum we are sucking the water from the uh, raiser pipe and header pipe if we connect the same motor to the second stage and third stage of uh, dewatering also then the path the path of travel for the vacuum is becomes very large so the vacuum cannot travel for that much of distance there might be a possibility of entrapped air what is this entrapped air the air entrapped between the soil particles and water particles in a natural soil is known as a entrapped air okay the soil is always a entrapped air in case of soil the soil considered okay so the entrapped air may enter into the raiser pipe from raiser pipe to header pipe then finally to the pump this reduces the efficiency of your motor okay so the discharge of water removing is reducing so that's why we need to prefer each own pump for its each stage okay and the number of stages may vary more than 3 stages even though we can go for up to 10 stages but it is preferable to maximum of 3 stages if you go beyond the stages it is not seems to be practical okay in theoretically we can say we can use so many number of stages but if we consider the practical cases we cannot go more than 3 stages okay so why more than 3 number of stages the more is the excavation width required see what we are doing first this is the side we excavated with some slope see the slope here see with this slope we have excavated and laid in another stage if we need one more we need to go for another slope right that reduces the width of excavation okay for example this is our 
foundation width we need to excavate. What is the foundation width based on the design it will give? So let's say that your width is 10 meters. We need to, the final width of the foundation is 10 meters. So to maintain this for 10 meters final width, we need to go for increment in excavation area. The, if we need final 10 meters depth with some slope, say 1 into, what is the first width? It is 11 meters, say for example. One more stage means 12 meters. So if we first construct 12 meter width excavation pit, so with, the, with one slope it is reduced to 11 meters. If we construct another slope it is reduced to 10 meters. So if we need one more stage, what will happen? Again, the width is increasing to 13 meters. One more stage, we need to start the excavation with a width of 14 meters. See, from 14 meters we have considered the, we constructed the excavation. With some slope, we are doing second stage. So the width is reduced to 13. Again some slope, the width is reducing. Again the width is reducing. So like this, if we go beyond three stages, the width of excavation becomes very very large. Okay. To maintain the final excavation width, we need to increase the width of foundation. And it is increasing with the increasing stages. So that's why in practical cases, we cannot go for more than three stages. Okay. If we go for a fourth stage, we need to excavate more width. That way seems to be uneconomical. So coming to the next one. In multi-stage well point system, we must take care. Some care should be taken when, <coughs> when the header, the header pipe, lowermost stage is not more than 4 meters above the excavation bed. Which means, for example, we are doing 3 multi-stages. So, the header pipe of third stage will not be more than 4 meters above the excavation bed. See, let's say this is the third one, right? So this header pipe, the third stage header pipe will not be more than 4 meters. So this depth is not more than 4 meters from the excavation bed. The lower most stage, in this case, the third stage is the lower most case. So the header of the lower most case should not be more than 4 meters depth from the foundation bed or excavation bed. Okay, that is the condition. So what happens if it is more than 4 meters? Then it requires so much of water to collect from here to top. The real motor is at the top. Okay, we provide, we provide motors for all stages on the surface only. See here, for the first stage, where we provided the motor? For first stage, the motor is on the surface. For the second stage also, with some pipe connection, we provided the motor on the surface only. If there is one more stage, still the motor is at the surface only. So that's why to reduce the length of this pipe, to reduce the length of vacuum path, we need to be make sure that the lower most, uh, the lower most header pipe should not be more than 4 meters from the excavation bed. Okay. So from the motor, the water is discharged away from our side. Okay. That is the second point. Okay. Coming to the next one. Yeah, coming to the advantages. So, what are the various advantages of multi-stage well point system? Both the systems, single stage and multi-stage has similar advantages. But the only difference is depth of excavation. Okay? The depth of drawdown is increasing in case of multi-stage well point system. So, let's see. This we already studied in single stage well point system. Both are same. This is very effective in sandy soil. Why? Sandy soil has high permeability. Okay? In order of permeability, the first soil is gravel. Gravel has the highest permeability than all soils. After the gravel, sand has high permeability. After the sand, it is sealed. And the lower most is clay. So this is the order of permeability. For gravel, high, medium, low, very low permeability. So what we are preferring? It is a we do not get gravel as a soil. We cannot consider the gravel as a soil. We consider gravel as a coarse aggregate. Okay, we are not including it in case of soils. So, but the sand is, is a sand is a soil. 
okay but we cannot consider grammar as a sum so that's why we are expecting that that's uh, if we are expecting that if the presence of sand in our side then it is very effective why the only reason is it has high permeability okay coming to the next one provide draw down up to a depth of 5 to 6 meters in sand and 4 meters in silt per one stage this is a very very important point in case of single stage well point system here we have a full stop okay yeah, up to this one the advantage of single stage point wins but in case of multi stage well point we just need to include this per one stage okay per one stage what we are providing 5 to 6 meters draw down we are providing okay but what is the depth of depth we are excavating only 4 meters for the lower most header pipe in sand whereas in silty soils it is a maximum 4 meters only the reason is again same sandy soil has high permeability so the water can easily travel from all the sides that's why we can reduce 5 to 6 meters depth whereas in case of silty soil it has low permeability so the water cannot enter from all sides into our well point so that's why we cannot reduce more than 4 meters okay the depth of water table is we can reduce is 4 meters maximum coming to the next one relatively cheap and flexible okay the cost of construction is also cheap and flexible per one stage Consider to one stage, the cost is cheap. We are constructing ten stages. What is the cost? It is huge. It is very very high. So that's why we need to mention that it is relatively cheap and flexible per one stage. And the cost is increasing with the increase in number of stages. So that's why we need to clearly say that relatively cheap and flexible per one stage. And the last one is insulation is very rapid. what we are doing we are just excavating the soil and constructing some bore holes and inserting the razor pipe on the surface we are installing header pipes so that's why the insulation is rapid means fast and easy we do not require any complicated equipment or any high skilled labor required equipment we are using very easy and fast construction method okay coming to the next one Here also the water is filtered. Do you remember that uh, in a, that uh, cross section of a single stage well point system? That is the razor pipe. Here also it has all the points. It has a razor pipe covered with a screening. The pipe has the perforations, just like the single stage well point system. So the water is. This is a. Let's say this is a pipe. The pipe is having some perforations. Perforations means holes. Okay, these holes are. Entirely covered with a screen. This is a screen provided around the riser pipe. So the water is entering into the riser pipe through these perforations. Why? When only when it passes through the screening. So the water is filtering. Then only the water is allowed to flow into the riser pipe. So by using the motor, we are collecting the water in the riser pipe. So that's why the water is filtered and carries. no or very little soil particles okay so that's why we do not treat this water and we can directly distribute it to the other side of our site coming to the next one there is less danger of subsidence of surrounding ground we are not using any impact or any vibration forces okay we are using whether by using the jet we are penetrating the well or by using a agar bore such that it does not it does not contact it does not danger to our surrounding ground or surrounding structures than with the open sum pumping in open sum pumping we need to excavate close to excavate at the outer boundaries of our site so that may cause the uh, slope failure of the surrounding sites so that's why when compared to the open sum pumping it is very less danger it is very less danger to the subsidence of surrounding structures so these are the advantages of multi stage well point system coming to the disadvantages it is not effective beyond 12 to 15 meters of draw down why this value is given only for three stages okay if we go for three stage more than three stages it is not economical we need to excavate more with the foundation so that's why for three stages 12 to 15 meters that means per each stage 4 to 5 meters draw down 
that is per one stage per one stage 4 to 5 means for three stages 12 to 15 meters so that's why this value is given as 12 to 15 meters we can also go for more than 15 but it is not economical coming to the next one if large gravel stiff clay or soil containing boulders here we are constructing the wells using jet of water or by using agar boring. Okay, we are not using impact and vibration forces. So, if the large gravity is present in, through the force of jet, we cannot penetrate the well. Or if it is a stiff clay, if it is a stiff clay, we cannot use agar boring or we cannot use the jet of water. Or the soil contains large boulders. Okay, we cannot penetrate through the boulders. So, if these three types of soils present in our soil, then it is very difficult to do the well construction. Okay, once we construct the well, then the, oil, then the water can easily penetrate to our well, so that we can draw down the water. So, if these three soils contain in our soil, then it is very difficult. Stiff clay, if the, if the soil is clay, then we can do the well construction, but the water cannot come to our well point through the surrounding structure. Why clay is a, see, this is a well we constructed. This is a ground surface. This is the ground surface. The soil is stiff clay. We can construct the well points in case of stiff clay. But once we can do the construction work, the water has to come to our well point from the surroundings. It is a stiff clay. It does not allow the water to flow through it. The permeability of stiff clay is very very less. So, for example, here we have a water point. The water molecule cannot come to our well point in time. It takes so much of time. Okay. So, that's why in clay we use the term called consolidation instead of compaction. The water molecule takes so much of time to come to our well point. We cannot wait for so much of time. We are immediately using a motor and pumping the water, whatever entering into the well point. So, that's why if stiff clay, large gravel, if gravel and boulder present, we cannot even construct the well point. If stiff present, we can construct the well point, but the water cannot enter into our well point. So, if these three soil present, then this method is not suitable. Okay, these two are the disadvantages of multi-stage well point system. Coming to the next one, deep well point system. Okay, here, deep well point system is also what I am, as I as free drainage dewatering system in which the pump it pumps high volume of water the main advantage of deep well point system is it can draw down so much of water okay that is the main disadvantage when compared to other three methods and this method is best suited to homogeneous aquifers what is the aquifer aquifer is a water holding layer it has it is a layer of high permeability okay suited to homogeneous aquifers that extend well below the bottom of excavation. For example, here we need to do excavation. This is our site. What we are expecting? The soil up to a large depth is homogeneous. Homogeneous means made up of same material. So, we are expecting throughout the depth of our excavation, we are expecting the soil is homogeneous. That is, the soil is entirely sand or entirely sealed or entirely clay. So, that is what we are expecting and it has to be an aquifer. Okay, aquifer means it is a high permeable layer, generally made up of sand. We are expecting the sand throughout the depth of our construction from the ground surface. That is what we are expecting. Come into the next one. See, this is a typical, typical deep well point system. In this case, when compared to the previous two, the difference is here we have a submergible pump. It is not clear. Let me see. It is a submergible pump. In the previous cases, we install the motor and pump on the surface. But here, we are installing the submergible pump. The pump is located at the bottom of a well point. And then we have this check wall. Check wall we already discussed. In the single stage, we have ball wall. Here it is a check wall. Check wall allows the water to flow only in one direction. That we already seen. See here. This is a pipe. Check wall means it is an inclined member like this. It is one of the check wall. The water flows from down to the top, then the wall gets open. The water can 
flow to the upward direction but one in one, but in case but see if the water is if the water is backward after we stop the motor whatever the water remaining that tries to come to the downside so when the water tries to move in a downward direction here we have a edge it cannot get lowered because here we have an obstruction so the water will stop at this point okay so that's why to allow the water to flow only in one direction we use this check wall okay come into the next one the next one that we have is a screen okay like the single stage and multi stage well point system here also we have a screen okay coming to the next one electrical cable as the motor is provided at the bottom of a well we need electric cable to supply the power then we have this riser pipe we know that well point is connected with a riser pipe the next one is filter sand around the sand around our well point after we install this riser pipe and motor we lay a layer of sand okay this is our well for example so around our well we are laying sand why to in, to filter the water and to allow the water more frequently into our well so in order to achieve these two around our well we lay a sand layer coming to the next one it's a bentonite seal to prevent the vacuum to escape the next one is bore hole the entire thing is a bore hole this is a back fill what is the back fill we are back filling the back with sand and this is a discharge pipe here also we have a flow valve and mainly we have a well seal okay the depth is approximately 100 feet so in order to in order to maintain a vacuum throughout this depth we must provide the seal here we have well seal and bentonite seal okay to entry prevent the entry of soil into our pipe okay and this is a electronic control panel so through this only we are we are giving power supply to the motor so this is a typical deep well point system coming to the next one deep well point system see it consists of one or more individual wells just like a single stage well point system here also we can use more than one well point in our site if the area of our site is more then we can install more number of individual deep wells okay each of these has its own submergible pump at the bottom of a well coming to the next one deep well point system are suitable for water table or confined aquifer just remember this point confined aquifer why we need to why we are expecting this confined aquifer to present in our site this is most suitable for confined aquifer what is an aquifer aquifer is a water holding layer it, and it is a permeable layer it contains the water and it can discharge the water so both and confined confined means restrained see here we have a rocky layer on top also rocky layer in between two impermeable layers we have an aquifer that is sand okay this is the case that is best suitable for deep well point system okay let's see why and we lower the water table 100 feet or more in single stage we are not using multi stages once we construct a single stage deep well point system with that only we can draw down the water up to a depth of 100 feet okay without stages come to the next one spacing the spacing is generally 15 meters the general spacing between deep well point system is 15 meters but however based on the soil conditions the spacing may vary okay we cannot say 15 meter is the fixed distance based upon the soil conditions the distance between deep well points may vary okay coming to the next one dewatering capacity this is the one of the main disadvantage of, main advantage of deep well point system per one deep well one individual deep well can draw down a water of 2100 to 3000 gallons per minute one what is the gallon gallon is 3.785 liters so just imagine per minute what is the amount of water in liters the deep well can discharge okay so that much of water is discharging per minute and if we lay main system of individual wells okay we are not satisfying with one individual well we are laid number of individual deep wells so the entire system 
can discharge a total of 60,000 gallons per minute. Okay, that is a total system. And next one is, and it can lift your water up to a depth of 30 meters. It also dra drain out the water from 30 meters depth and are more in single stage. And the variation is typical well point system is pressure within an aquifer. Okay, here also we have an aquifer. So let's see what is an aquifer. See, again come to this confined aquifer. Confined means it is surrounded by two impermeable layers. Here it is confined and it is an aquifer. Why we are expecting this, this soil to present? We have a term called artesian pressure. Artesian pressure. You may study about it in your GTA 1 subject. So what it says, when two impermeable layers confine an aquifer, when we construct a well, it always it is under pressure. Okay, it is surrounded, it is bounded by two permeable layers. Those two are pressing the sandy layer. So once we construct a well point, then the water can easily come to the surface without any motor. Okay, that's why we don't need to actually in case of deep well point system, there is no need to use a motor. Under the artificial pressure only, the water is coming to the top of your surface. But to increase the rate of discharge, we are using these motors. Okay. So under the artesian pressure, the water is coming to the top of a surface. The best example is wells. We generally construct the wells in case of villages and cities also. So once we construct the well, the water is coming to the top. So how it is possible? When the well is constructed through a confined aquifer, then only under the artesian pressure, the, the so water is under pressure. So once it has a way to escape, then it immediately escapes. Okay, we are releasing the artesian pressure. So this principle is applicable for this deep well point system also. Only by using motor, we cannot draw down the water up to a depth of 30 meters. So we also need the help of this artesian pressure. Okay. Now coming to the next one, advantages. It has the ability to penetrate straight up, impervious. Here, we are using a method to penetrate into an impervious strata also. Whereas single stage and multi stage points cannot penetrate through a boulders and gravel. But here it has the ability to penetrate through impervious layer also. And the installation is up to 100 mm deep or more in single stage. And it is capable of pumping 10 to thousands of gallons. Okay, 2000 to 6000. And deep wells are effective when they are placed in when the place outside our site. So it is actually a reset mode as we cannot place a deep well outside our site. Coming to the next one. Deep well point requires no pumps as we discussed. Under the artesian pressure only, the water is coming to the top of our surface. But here we are using a motor. Why? To boost the discharge of water. See, well points require no pump. As the water is forced to the surface by in its own pressure. The own pressure is artesian pressure. So to boost the water flow, a vacuum pump is frequently used. Coming to the disadvantage, it has no disadvantage except that it is very expensive to install. That is the only disadvantage of deep well point system. So let's summarize today's class. So in today's class, we completed only two topics. That is multi-stage well point system and deep well point system. Okay, what are the advantages, what is the process of installing and what it is suitable for best type of soil and are we completed. So in our next class we are going to start some other techniques of D1. Thank you.